Hi all, let's have a quick demo on how to use the device for manual testing. This is a typical page where a user is taken after logging into the pcloudy.com. There are primarily three types, devices, cloud drive, automator. Right now we are into devices tab and all the devices which you are seeing here are the devices which are available at this moment for your usage. There are two ways to access this device. One is through instant access. From instant access you can access any device maximum for 10 minutes and if you are want to uh, plan testing and you require a device more than 10 minutes or whatever time you want you can do so by clicking book your device select the manufacturer let's say Sony and select the device which you want you can select the duration for which you want to book the device you can select the time let's say um, 12 30 pm on let's say 29th of october and say find device if the device is free it will be shown to you for booking just need to click booking and say confirm the device is booked for you for your future use this will be exclusively booked for you to show the demo i wanted to use a device from the instant access so i came back to the instant access now let's say i want to connect to the galaxy s5 i just need to click on the connect button and confirm once I do so, user will be taken to the device page wherein the device has been shown here. Yeah. So the device size which you are seeing is here is close to the real device size. If it is not fitting in your viewable area in the browser, you can zoom out by clicking this button here, or you can zoom in by clicking this button. You can also click this toggle button, it will take you to the same size of the device. And if you click it one more time, you will be taken to the 1 is 1 pixel of this particular device. This feature is typically being used by the UX guys to see if the icons are correctly uh, displayed, if there is any pixelization or so. I will bring it back to the original size and make it a little small so that it can fit into the screen. Now, all the feature, all the buttons which you are seeing here on the top are the features which we are supporting for manual testing. Along with these two features, along with these buttons, we do have two more buttons. On the right hand side, there is something called debug log. If I click, it will expand. And on the left hand side, there is something called tools. So on the device logs, if I click on this particular button here, it will start the device logs. The entire device log cat will be displayed here for your radio reference while doing the testing. You can actually pause these logs. You can put a specific filter of your choice which is used in your application. You can look for a specific keyword in this particular logs. You can erase the entire logs on this slide and you can download the logs at any given point of time by clicking this download button. Let's say I don't want to get distracted looking at the logs while doing testing. I can actually stop and close this tab. Even if I do so, the logs are getting recorded in the background and it will be uh, available for you in the cloud drive. Now, I'll show you how to install the application very quickly. The very first button here is about install and install the app. If I click it once, all the applications which I already have in, uh, uploaded to my cloud drive will be listed here. So, let's say I wanted to show you a demo from an application called Zomato. I just need to click the application and say install. The application will get installed on the device by the platform. Here you will see the notification for the installation of Zomato.apk. Once it is installed, it will launch the application and it will show you here. Yeah, the launch is complete. Once the application is launched, as I mentioned, the device logs are being already getting recorded in the background for your ready reference. I'll just quickly say skip the tool. So never mind. Let's say I wanted to uh, see the performance of this application. You can do so by clicking this particular button here. You just need to select the application which is under test. It will list you all the applications which I have uh, installed during my this session. Since I have installed only one application, this one is a matter, the one which I have installed. I just need to select this. Once I select, you see there is a memory consumption here. The memory consumption by the application is plotted here at real time. At the same time, you are seeing the CPU consumption here. 
So both memory and CPU consumption by the application is being shown on the graph here. Along with this, we are also showing the network usage, the data usage. Since Zomato is a client server application, it sends the data to the server and receives some information from the server. So all that data packets and uh, data usage will be shown here. As you might be aware, Zomato is a restaurant pointer application and it has one more feature which says nearby. If I just click on this nearby button here, it will list all the restaurants around the uh, phone. Since our data center is in Electronic City, Bangalore, it is listing all the restaurants around the Electronic City, Bangalore. Now, if you want to test this particular feature sitting at one place or let's say in your lab and you have to test this particular feature either you have to take this phone to different parts of the city or different uh, uh, cities and test this application but with P Cloudy, we are facilitating you to do so sitting at one location so there is something called set phone location if I just click this button it will be it will show the entire Google map you just need to go and select the app uh, location on which you want to test this let's say I'm choosing something from New Delhi I just need to say select and refresh the application once once I refresh the application the particular lat long information which you have chosen is given to the application by the device and it will be shown here since we have chosen something from cannot place all the restaurants around that particular area is been displayed you can see the results here sitting at one place you can virtually give all the locations across the globe if this application supports those locations if you noticed the CPU and memory was changing when it was fetching the data from the server. At the same time, the data packets were uh, changed when it was uploading and downloading the data from the server. Now, along with this, uh, let's say you want to do something called uh, mobile web testing. You can do so because we do provide one button here called launch URL in browser. If I click this, if I click this, it will list you all the browsers which are pre-installed on the device since Android supports a whole lot of browsers you can install the supported browsers on the device and platform will automatically start showing those browsers here since we have already pre-configured the uh, uh, pre-installed the browsers it is showing all the browsers here so let's say I want to open cnn.co.uk I'm entering it from my laptop's keyboard and I'm just selecting the browser in which it should be open let's say Chrome. I just need to push this data to the device. Once I do so, platform will open Chrome browser for you and it will type in the URL which you have just typed in here. I close this button. Yeah. Once the website is open, you can actually swipe up or down based on your requirement. Yeah. Now for any application, uh, it has to be tested in both the orientations. Right now, the device is into portrait mode. Uh, if I want to change it to landscape mode, I can do so by simply clicking this button here for the landscape. If I do so, the entire phone and the uh, content of the phones will change into the landscape mode. And you continue your testing in both the orientations. I'll move back to landscape portrait mode. You have not noticed there is a warning here session will expire shortly since I have used the phone maximum for 10 minutes whenever it approaches to be uh, 10 minutes it will warn the user so that the user can expedite his testing or he can suspend it here and he can uh, and continue with the another session since I'm just having one minute I will release the device just before releasing the device I wanted to show quickly one thing here let's say I want to enter some text in the uh, address bar here I can do so by the virtual keyboard which phone provides and since it's a time consuming process what we have done we have actually given a keyboard here if I click this I can put whatever text I want from my system keyboard 
and push it to the device and the entire text will appear in the address bar since I'm running short of this time in this session I'm releasing the device once you release the device you notice device cleanup in progress is shown here so what does platform do is basically it uninstalls all the applications which you have installed in this particular session now I'll quickly go and connect one more device uh, let's say I connect to Samsung Galaxy Clan 2 and say confirm I'll make it a little small so that we can see the entire device in one view. I'll quickly show you about the uninstall tab. If I just go to uninstall tab, you won't see any data here because in this particular session I have not installed any application on the device. So I'll go back to install and select let's say notepad crash. This is a test application just to show how or what happens when the application crashes you will see everything black here because it's a test application so let's say I'm, I'm seeing an issue here at this moment so what I can do is I can actually take a screenshot of this particular phone so I just need to click on this take screenshot button and the screenshot is taken with one is to one pixel and along with the skin of the device this is how the screenshot will look like now let's say I click on this options button the moment they'll say add note the application is going to crash so let me click it once here it is the application is crashed if you notice when the application is crashed this particular button starts flickering this is nothing but the stack trace so if I click this button it will show you the stack trace the complete stack trace the very second or third line in this trace will show you where the exception has happened though you have the entire device logs with you you can go to the entire device logs to find where the crash has happened or where the application is crashed we are trying to look uh, help you to localize you know where the crash has happened by providing the stack trace now let's say I wanted to take one more screenshot of this particular screen I take one more screenshot this screenshot will look like this even if I don't download and uh, save it on my local system the screenshots are uh, stored in the cloud drive for your ready reference along with the uh, session video and the device logs now let's say you are doing the testing from past one hour or two hours or three hours and at this moment you found an issue which needs to be reported in the bug reporting tool as I said this complete session video is getting recorded in the background you can actually share that video with the development team but since the size of the video is too big to share we have a handy feature here called capture error data if I click this it will show you a slider so what it does is basically the entire session video which is getting recorded in the background gets streamed from 10 seconds to last 5 minutes so let's say I do it for 160, 160 seconds and say download what it does is basically trims the last 160 seconds video from the main video and it also downloads a zip file it also downloads a zip file which will have uh, the 160 seconds video the complete device locks the track trace if the application is crashed and if you have taken any screenshots or captured any screenshots during this particular time it will show all the screenshots here I'll quickly show you how the zip file will look like so this is how the zip file will look like the content of the zip file will have the crash because the application is crashed during this time the complete device locks two screenshots which I have taken I just wanted to quickly show you how the screenshot yeah, these, these are the screenshots which we have taken and the video file for 160 seconds now this zip file any tester can actually attach to the different reporting tool yeah. 
uh, as I said here we do have the uh, download logs button the tester can download the log but logs at any given point of time we do have the same button over here you can actually download the logs any given point of time from here if you want to remotely restart the device you can do so by clicking the